Welcome to Foxtech. If you've received a one-time code on your Android device and aren't sure where to enter it, here's how it works. These codes are a security measure used by apps and websites to verify your identity. By entering the code, you're confirming that you own the phone number or email associated with the account you're trying to log into. Most of the time, the code is sent via SMS. If that's the case, open your messaging app, find the message containing the code, and enter it in the designated field on the app or website. Some apps will auto-detect the SMS code and fill it in automatically. This happens if you've granted permission for the app to read verification messages. If the code doesn't fill in on its own, just type it manually. If the one-time code is sent via email, open your email app, find the message, and look for the code inside. Then switch back to the app or website that requested it and enter the code in the verification field. The user interface might look slightly different depending on the app you're using, but they all follow the same basic process. If you don't see the email, refresh your inbox or check the spam folder, uh, as sometimes verification messages end up there. Um, for accounts that use an authenticator app like Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator, open the app, uh, find the code for the service you're trying to log into, and enter it manually. Unlike SMS or email codes, these codes refresh every few seconds, so make sure you type it in before it expires. If no prompt appears after receiving the code, try manually entering it in the login or verification field of the app uh, or website. In some cases, the app won't automatically bring up the entry field, so you may need to go back to the login page and look for an option to enter the code. That's it. Now you know where to enter a one-time code on your Android device and how to handle different verification methods. If this helped, let me know in the comments. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to Fox Tech for more Android and tech tips. Thanks for watching and see you later.